Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport SEL Premium R-Line Turbo. This particular one is Kingfisher Blue Metallic on the exterior with chalk and Titan black leather interior. It features keyless entry on all four doors. That nice sharp bow line down the side. Under the door handles, into the wheel arch, into the tail lights. Silver window sills, silver window surrounds, silver roof rails, 21 inch machine black and silver alloy wheels, the R-line wheels, dual quad or dual fall exhaust tips on the back here, a 5,000 pound tow hitch down here with a seven pin adapter included, piano black finish on that baffle down below, an LED light bar embedded in the tail lights here with the illuminated logo here. It says Atlas right below that logo there. SEL off to the left, four motion off to the right. That's how you know it's all wheel drive. Body colored paint below the chrome line on the side of the doors here and the rear bumper. It says cross board on the door flare here. And on the front here, you're gonna notice an LED light bar and illuminated logo on the front. Gloss black finish on the grill right here. These uh, gloss black and silver air intakes on the front here with a splash of silver down at the base. Let's take a look at the inside. As we open this up here, carbon fiber finish around the door, the door handle and the door locks. Harman Kardon audio on this one. Leatherette up here at the top. This is that chalk gray color. Down here, perforated leatherette. They're separated by a contrast stitch. And then there's black leatherette on the door armrest right here. There's a bottom now to the door handle here and then a contrast stitch on the outside here. Power folding mirrors power mirrors heated mirrors uh, the power lift gate here's the button for the lift gate that opens it up on the back there and then if you lift up and hold that will also close that lift gate just hold it until it closes stainless steel scuff plate before you climb in stainless steel uh, footrest and uh, pedals or pedal caps there then you also have memory seats here three seat memory power lumbar down here forward back up and down here seat back adjust right here Here's a look at that diamond stitched leather seat. It's a heated and ventilated seat with a gray bead right here or piping right here. And then there's black leather right down the side right here. An adjustable headrest here with a black button there and a gray piping piece right there. The armrest right here, double contrast stitch right here, leatherette right there. There's a look at the back seats. The two outboard seats are also diamond stitched and heated. Adjustable headrests on all three seats. As we climb in here, very nice digital cockpit right here leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel heated steering wheel is now standard uh, song skip and preset skip are right there on that button and then this guy over here is your volume control on the steering wheel paddle shifters are also now standard on the car um, your automatic headlights are down here I actually have the headlights turned on so you can see the light bar and the illuminated logos uh, that perforated leatherette and leatherette here those bands continue across the dash under the infotainment screen over into the door panel on the other side. You can see a hint of the ambient lighting. You have 30 color ambient lighting here. Piano black finish right here in a carbon fiber pattern picks up from the door and goes around the vents here. Now these vents are double stacked here just like they are, or the headlights are. That mimics the headlights on the two outboard uh, vents. Two more vents down below the infotainment screen right here. You have that on both sides. Uh, on this steering wheel here, or the uh, instrument cluster here, you have multiple views here. By hitting the view button, I can change which display is showing. There's a navigation inclusive one. There's a adaptive cruise control one, uh, or travel assist. And then this one here with the squares, the R-Line logo here with a tachometer at the top, mimicking the Golf R. And then you have this guy here. And then also, uh, back to that navigation one. You can also zoom in and zoom out on navigation. Now you can actually have navigation showing in two places. You can have it showing here, and you can also have it showing here. Uh, I'll show you this here. You can touch here. Yeah, I do not want to search for gas. So I have navigation here and also over here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the heated steering wheel, and I'm gonna turn on the climate control here because it's a little chilly out. Um, we're gonna turn the fan speed down. We don't need it at 80. All right, so climate control here. You see I kind of cheated and went ahead here. Um, 
the climate control you can access right here. This just like a system tray on your Microsoft computer or your um, uh, Apple, your your PC or your Mac. You always have the little system tray at the bottom. This is always here. That's your quick way to get to your climate control. You also have air care on this one. Air care is your air filtration system. It actually scrubs the air before it circulates it in the cabin, so you don't smell outside intrusive smells and things of that nature uh, in the car. The blue line signifies the status of that that uh, scrubbing or filtration, uh, and it'll let you know when the cabin's all blue that it's it's op it's optimal. Okay, so classic climate. If I touch right there. I have all of these different buttons here. This is just like your regular climate control with knobs, just it's a touch screen. Smart climate, I can touch any one of these here. I can warm my hands, that turns on a heated steering wheel, it's already on, cool my feet, fresh air. Uh, it's also gonna bring out uh, the fan, uh, the uh, heat this way too, aimed at your hands. You can also speak it. Hello Volkswagen. My feet are cold. Okay, warming your feet in the front. Okay, so if you didn't hear, she said warming your feet in the front. Now, this little home button here, just like your cell phone, takes you home. It brings you to this screen here. You hit it again, it brings you to this split screen right here. The split screen right here uh, shows you navigation, three other tiles here. This is your main tile here for the vehicle. It's telling me that I'm, I'm low on gas. That's one message there. I can swipe here. Whoops, I over swiped. Okay, so we're going to do that again. I'll demonstrate that. There's oil level right there, there's uh, tire pressure right there, and then there's this guy right here. The auto start stop shut off is right there. You also have this drop down menu here where you can swipe up. Whoops, now it's not doing it, but uh, I can change here. There's gesture control too, so I can change it between bright and um, bright and dark. And I also have gesture control here so I can wave my hand in front of that there and go either way. Pretty cool. Um, so down here on the sill here you do also have i wave my hand in front of it <laughs> you do have this sill right here that shows you you can go cooler or warmer by touching here tap cooler uh, tap warmer or tap red i can also swipe across and swipe down to adjust those volume control is the same in the middle and then the uh, temperature over here on this side now these are not backlit but you're not going to use them that much anyway um, I have a Golf R that has this set up and I don't usually use those. I'm always going to the screen here, I hit here, I hit here, or whatever I need to do. And for my heated seat, I have a heated seat there. I also have ventilated seat. I can turn those on and off with the tap. They start on high, then medium, then low, then off. You just tap again. Three more taps and they're done. Uh, same with the heated seat. Now these do actually have a, a effect on fuel economy. They actually change your fuel economy when you're running those, which is kind of kind of cool. I didn't think about that, but it does. Everything has an effect on your fuel economy. Your vents down here is set up here with these hot buttons in the middle. You have your assist systems here, parking menu, um, drive modes, and then also climate climate control. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to modes. You have eco, comfort, sport, custom off-road and snow so you have these different modes here um, and that's going to go away at times out the climate control does the same thing as the buttons up here it brings up this screen here and if you want it on classic you just hit classic there uh, parking menu this car does have park assist so it has park distance sensors that's the little p with the triangle at the top there it also has this guy here with the steering wheel it's actually searching for tar for a spot uh, although i'm parked uh, park assist will work. It will perpendicular park, parallel park, or straight in park. Um, it just, it'll figure it out. Um, I don't demonstrate that on this in these videos, but I have a couple videos up where I've done it so you can see what it looks like. Now, you do also get um, down here, wireless charging. There's a wireless charge pad here. It'll charge your phone in the case unless you're using a pop socket or an otter box. Then it may have a challenge. Over here, two USB-Cs right here that are backlit. There's storage on this side. There's only wireless charging on the left side though. You do get another USB-C up here on the mirror housing. That's for a dash cam. Um, you have on this one, this particular one, an auto dimming home link mirror. This is a three door garage door memory with a digital compass right there. And I do have a vanity mirror on each side with an LED light above. The black headliner stands out in this car. Uh, it does also give you, add to that coupe feel in the car. You have two slides up here. The left one do, does the sunroof, the right one does the sunshade. So it's easy. The best way to swipe this, touch at the top, 
and then swipe back. Deliberate touch at the front and then swipe your finger back. That opens the sunroof. Pop-up windscreen right here. This panel of glass stacks on top of that one. You can see the tinted glass there. That pop-up windscreen there kind of keeps the wind from buffeting you or uh, that buffering sound or that helicopter chop. It's designed to help with that. Um, now, you do also have these cup holders up here. This one is a little higher than this one here. You got that stadium seat style set up so the lids aren't bumping each other while you're driving around uh, from your drive through back home. Start stop button is right here. It's now a rectangle. It's up top. The park button. It's a park button now and a shifter that handles reverse, neutral, drive, and sport. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in reverse. You flip up here, it chimes, it highlights in yellow there, it chimes like an Audi. You're now in reverse. You've got trajectory steering. You turn the wheel left, the yellow line moves accordingly, turn the wheel right, the yellow line moves accordingly. The green line signifies straight back, the red line signifies your bumper and rear hatch opening. You do also have over here on this side, this animation that shows tire swing or wheel swing uh, in that animation. And also you can tap to isolate a camera. Type the, tap the front to isolate the front camera. Tap either side to get the side cameras and then tap the back to get the rear camera. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in park. So this car does have, and I'm going to close the sunroof there, but here's a look at that interior. It's really, really nice. No loop down here, so the seat is power on this side. You have power button forward and back right there, if you can see that, and the seat back adjust right here. No power lumbar on this side, but you do get pop bottle and cup storage in the door. Your manual's right here. Tire warranties in a Ziploc bag there, and seat belt clip protectors right there. The carbon fiber uh, finish goes across here. It's not actual carbon fiber, but it's designed to look like that. It'll actually say cross sport in the uh, dash here. It's real faint. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's there now um, with the purple lights. I wanna show you something else here. So vehicle, I'm gonna go to ambient lighting, go to tap vehicle there, go to interior, ambient lighting right here, and I can turn off um, the automatic color is off already, so I can change color here. I'm going to go to brightness, change that up a little bit. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, it's not really showing through that much. Camera's kind of picking up a little bit of purple coming through there. It says cross sport over here in the dash. Um, let's see if I close the sunshade if that helps any. Um, but you can see the light bleeding through a little bit down here, and it goes through all four doors right there and also the back door back here. You can see it on camera right there. Uh, maybe with the sunshade closing, it may help a little bit there. That uh, didn't really help. Uh, but these seats are heated, heated and ventilated, both front seats. The back seats are not ventilated, but they are heated. Storage bin right here. Another storage bin right here with a USB-C connection in here. It's also backlit. You can get a medium-sized person here, small to medium-sized person there. You get more storage down here. This is new down here you can see a little icon right there with a key with waves on it that's where you would touch your key if the key fob battery were to die uh so you wouldn't be stranded in the car or with the, unable to start the car uh so that's a override to getting the car to start with your key fob battery dies let's take a look at the back seat there's a look at those wheels right there and this one comes in at 53 881 extras on this one include uh no charge for the kingfisher blue paint 405 for the auto dimming home link mirror, 296 for monster mats, 275 for prepaid maintenance for a third year, 110 for a luggage net, 1350 for destination brings you to 53881. Here's a look at the back door. Sun shades right here in the door. They just fit up right there. You get one for that door as well. Uh, you do also have that carbon fiber finish back here as well, going around the door handle and another Harman Kardon labeled speaker there. Uh, leatherette right here perforated leatherette below that and then the regular leatherette on the door pad down here the bottoms to the door handles three storage bins right here you're going to do bottles or cups in these two here there's a look at the seats in the back the two outboard seats are diamond stitched and heated the middle seat is leatherette and not heated gray piping on the headrest here and also on the bolsters of the seat and as we climb in here lots of legroom back here and let's see i'm wearing sloth socks today so I'm still trying to go faster on these. Uh, this guy right here, vents, right here, still silver finish there, flat silver finish. Your heated seats, they start on high, then medium, then low, then off on both of these right here.
Then you do also have down here backlit LED, um, LED uh, backlit uh, USB-C connections, and then a three-prong plug-in right there. There's a look through from the back to the front. Go ahead and shut this door here. That panoramic sunroof comes over my head as well. I've got the sunshade closed now, but you can see that it covers the entire passenger cabin. The leg room back here is top notch. Open the door here so you can see what I'm looking at here. Awesome uh, foot room back here or leg room. Down there, those are vents underneath the seat there as well as vents right here. Um, this is like a king cab. I'm allegedly 6'1", somewhere between 5'11 and 6'1". Uh, doctor told me I shrank, so he's he's gone. Um, got a new doctor. That armrest right there folds down, right there, squishy yet firm. This is a very comfortable ride. You can actually recline the seat as well. Another look at those wheels right there. Let's take a look at the hatch. Right between the T and the L. Back here, that opens the rear hatch. Here's a look through from the back to the front. There's the front license plate bracket for this one here. We'll put that on on request. 12 volt charger port right there. Recess trunk light there and here as well. Bag hook on this side and one over here. You do also have monster mats right here. Those are the rubber mats. Luggage net here and uh, those are your cargo blocks. Underneath the carpeted floor here, there's your spare with the subwoofer there. It's a quick release subwoofer. This is Harman Kardon audio for this one. It does surround sound. And then you do have uh, the lift gate button there. That's an adjustable lift gate as well. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. Four year, 50,000 miles and includes a third year of included maintenance on this particular unit. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're gonna give you an additional three years of free maintenance on this car. An additional three years. So you'll get a total of 60,000 miles of, of oil changes. Six free oil changes. That's a local deal only though. You'll have to come to my dealership to re redeem those additional three. Uh, and then uh, also we'll give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in this car or another one like it, remember you can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. Not every dealer is going to have this blue beauty right here. So if you're willing to travel, come see me. I'll pick you up at the airport and you can drive it home. 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.